welcome back. I'm so glad you could join me here today. Today, we'll be doing a nice little interesting painting. I hope you can follow along with me. Let me run the colors across the screen that you'll need to paint along with me. While you're doing that, let me tell you what I got down on my canvas. Now, I have a 16 by 24 inch pre-stretch, uh, 16 by 20 inch pre-stretch double prime. Uh, it has one layer, of, two layers of gesso, one layer of liquid white. Rather than that slick, it's wet, it's ready to go. And yeah. So let's get started with today's painting. Let's go ahead. Let's not waste any time. Um, so let's just go. Let's grab a regular two inch brush. Let me take it through a little. Let, let me explain that again. Little touch of the phthalo blue. Pull it out a bit and just tap it into your bristles. Make sure you have an even distribution. Now, let's come up here to the canvas and let's just decide. There. There we go. Just so softly. Now, let me take it through a little bit more phthalo blue. Just tap it on the brush. Make sure you get an even distribution. There we go. There. Now, Let's go ahead, let's add in a nice little cloud. I'm going to take my brush through a little bit of titanium white. Just straight titanium white paint. Let's come up here, let's add in a nice little cloud. Just by doing circular motions, you can get that nice little cloud. Just don't, don't work in your paint all in one spot. Keep your brush moving. Now, with I'm going to use that same brush that I used for the sky. And just the top corner of the brush. Just blend out the base. Only using the top. People want to use the bottom. But when you use the bottom, you can't see where you're hitting. So you want to use the top so you know where, which area you're blending out and all that. Lift up lightly. Very softly. Very, very softly. And go across. Now, let's go ahead. A little bit of bright red. Very little. Just to color that paint. Let's go back up to the canvas. And let's just say there is another cloud right right along here pink for Valentine's even though it's not even close to Valentine's Day <laughs> okay let's go back and lightly blend it out lift upwards very lightly very very lightly and go across now I'm gonna go into a little bit more white, just a little bit, and just go back. I don't want my clouds to be too pink. Just personal preference. I don't look up in the sky and see bright pink clouds. At least me. There. Now, let's go ahead. Let me. Yeah. Just like so. Just add a, a nice crazy, crazy little cloud. There we go. It, it just goes off our canvas like so. Let's grab a little bit of midnight black. A little bit midnight black. A little bit of white. 
just a nice gray color. And just add in, I, I just want a little base shadow. Okay. Now, lightly, lightly, you're going to come up here and lightly wisp the spots. Go up, lightly, and go across. Very, very lightly. Shouldn't take no pressure. If you put too much pressure, your clouds are going to go away. They're going to blend in with the blue underneath. We'll go with some white. Now, this is the base color. Here. There we go. I want a little bit more highlights coming out here. Yeah. Just a little bit. I'd figure you see a, a little bit more. Very lightly. Two hairs. Well, I don't want to get copyright. I was about to say. You guys know what I was going to say. But it's a very, very light pressure. Now, let's go ahead. Let's get crazy today. Which I have no idea what crazy means. But we'll figure it out. Let, let's actually, let's add some water. So I'm going to take my brush into halo blue and maybe slightest touch of sap green just the slightest just to give it a little hint so both sides and pull from the outside in there we go there ever so lightly load up your brush again there so lightly there we go maybe maybe a little bit more blue just a little bit there And I'm going to just pull it together, blend it out. Now, let's go ahead. I'm going to go into a little bit of phthalo blue on the brush. Nice dark phthalo blue, a little bit of sap green. Maybe a little bit of black. Just nice dark colors. Tap it in here. Load up your brush full with paint. Maybe a little bit more green. Just a little bit. But when you guys are mixing up this paint, you can decide more or less whatever you guys want. And just just by using the corner, tapping with the corner, you can create the look of many, many distant trees. I like to pull it down a bit. Lift upward lightly. Very lightly. I really like to lift up the paint because that way it looks like many little trees and then go across now let's go ahead into some more darker color so just a little bit more black and a little bit more green but more black than green just to have a nice dark contrast and there you can see that nice little contrast in between the two so I like to pull it down first I like to pull the pigment down there 
there we go then lift up a bit make sure you're lifting up straight if you lift up at an angle it's gonna look weird and then go across ever so lightly just like so you have yourself two little foothills now let's go ahead let's go into a one inch brush i'm gonna take it through midnight black and a little bit of sap green black and green go it through one direction so when i say one direction just Pull it one way, don't don't be switching ways. And let's come up here. That curved side would go up. And let's add a little, little bushy uh, trees or just bushes. I don't know. There. You know what? I'm going to break the rules. <laughs> like I say, time and time, there's no rules. People can recommend certain ways, but there is no right nor wrong. I like to tap down. Ever since I started painting, I don't like pushing upwards. I like pushing downwards. There we go. You can pull that pigment down at the base, okay? Just mixing up that. It's like a dark greenish. There. There we go. There. And all I'm going to do is just pull it down for some reflections we'll decide where it stops and ends and all the good stuff but for now just pull down now don't make it too dramatic where you pull it down all the way the only reason why i pull this whole in pretty low is because this one's pretty high but rather than that don't be pulling it crazy very lightly pull down very very lightly and go across got a little mark there it's okay nothing bad happens here you learn how to work with everything now let me go with a little bit of midnight black and maybe there lives some grass right along here okay i'm going to scrub some of that midnight black right out there shoot just like so just tap 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 I only care about that edge really and I'm going to pull down a little bit of that grassy base color or whatever whatever you want to call it now let's come up here let's start highlighting I'm going to go into a little bit of sap green sorry about the noise I'm pretty sure you guys are going to hear it. Anyways, I was saying, little sap green and cadmium yellow right on the two inch brush. Let's come up here and just tap it ever so lightly. There we go. Load up both sides of your brush and don't kill all your dark. Your dark, the dark of this painting is your friend. It creates that 
appearance of layer. If you lose all your darkness, your painting will look very flat. I learned that the hard way. I would always complain. Why is, does my painting look so flat? While other artists, it looks like there's depth in their painting. And I found out I was killing all the dark. Very lightly. Just very lightly go across. Now. Let's go ahead, let's mix up a little bit of dark sienna, a little bit of midnight black. Just mix up the colors. I want a nice dark brown color. There, something like so. You choose whatever tone you want it. And let's add... A little bit of dirt there very lightly very very lightly I'm letting some of that dirt go into the grass There we go. Now, most of these would be hidden, but let's scratch in a few little sticks and twigs with our palette knife. Just a little bit. They're going to be covered up with paint anyways. They're just... Therefore, whoever really looks hard and finds them. There. There you go. Now, let's go ahead. Let me load up my brush full with cadmium yellow. The one inch brush. Now, this one, I, I feel weird when I'm pushing down. I don't... It's weird because when I'm blocking in the color, I don't mind pushing down. But when I'm highlighting, I feel like I got to push upwards. Now, think of each little bushy layer that you're adding in there. Don't just put in all at random. Think of shape and form and how that bush or tree would shape out to look there maybe maybe we'll go into a little bit of bright red give us a nice orange color ready let's go up here let's change the tone oh that's a nice orange that's like orange more to the yellow side though there you want more orange orange feel let's give it to you real quick there we go let's come up here that's more of an orange when you think of orange you think of a nice bright orange we'll go back to like cadmium yellow there shoot everything is very lightly shouldn't take much pressure you can push that one back a bit there we go look at that it creates layer upon layer upon layer all you have to do is just take your time go one at a time don't rush it when you start rushing it, it's when everything goes downhill. Shoot. There we go. Let's go back to our orange. I'm going to come in a sec and fill some of them with like a bright green color. Now, I feel like the light 
is like somewhere in the center so now it's starting to hit this side instead of the other side there there a couple little duders in there I love that word, duders. I know I didn't create that word, but it's a fun little word to say. Now, let's go into a little bit of sap green. Make this nice bright green with cadmium yellow. Maybe slightest touch of the liquid white. Lightest touch, pull it one direction. Let's come up here. That kind of blends in a bit. It looks nice, subtle because everything is so pops so much. So, with that green being subtle, it kind of helps, helps place everything back into place there isn't that wonderful how easy it is but you got to take your time just like you guys tell me take your time there's no rush i'm gonna tell the same thing to you guys there is no rush whatsoever so take your time think of each individual bush now Let's do a firecracker of a green. There. Look how full of paint my brush is. It has a lot of paint on those bristles. Just. Ooh. Okay. Remember, don't lose all your shadows all your dark there now if you're the type of person who likes little bright red you can put some on the orange i think right here it looks fine i think i don't need it if i change my mind i could come back and say nope i need it <laughs> let's go into a little bit of Midnight black, just a little bit. And let's go ahead, let's put some bushes that live out here. Okay. Now, let me actually load up a bit more paint on my brush and there okay now back to the bushes let's go ahead load up your brush and you know what What's always fun that I like to do is put in a nice little path. So that's what we're going to do today. It's adding a nice little path right here in between those bushes. The bushes will be where I, I put bright red. Now that I think about it. So I could call attention inwards. There. Now, I'm going to add a little bit of white to our base color mixture. Maybe even a little bit more dark sienna. Cut a row and ever so lightly. Ooh, that's gorgeous. Not too bright, not too dark. At least in person. <laughs> now come up here and ever so lightly 
Look how much pressure I put. That much pressure. It shouldn't take you pushing that paint in there. It should be very, very light. There. But once you start getting rid of all your shadows and all that, everything just turns flat. So you can decide what you want to do. I'm just telling you what does what. <laughs> now, let me, let's go ahead. Let's do an orange. I need a bush that's orange. Let's come up here. There. Come up here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let's go into bright red. Maybe a few little sparklers on that orange bush. Just a few little sparklers here and there. A little bit of green. A little bit of yellow. Let's come up here. There. Now, very lightly. If it's if the paint's too thick, add a little bit of liquid white. Liquid white will help you thin out that paint and it'll just apply on easier. I'm just adding a bit more sap green on top of my liquid white because I add liquid white to the color. There. There we go. Let's highlight our dirt in the distance right out here Ooh, very gentle very very gentle Okay, now let's go ahead. Let's let's uh do a nice little bravery test for you guys. I'm gonna wipe off my fan brush a bit. So we're gonna grab dark sienna and midnight black. Makes up a good pile of it. I know I went overboard on time, but. What can I say? <laughs> Maybe a little bit more black in there. Now, here comes your bravery test. Let me load up my fan brush full with that color. Let's... Ooh, let's decide where a big, big, big tree would live out here. Covering up all that hard work. Oh, my God. Probably saying the first time I actually did a, a really good bush and you made me cover it up. Well, I can tell you two things. If you don't want to put this tree, don't put it on. Or... If you want to copy me word, well, not word for word, but if you want to copy my paintings, it's okay, but I'm going to stress you out a bit with these types of stuff. So it's all up to you. <laughs> Let's go ahead. 
a little bit of green, a little bit of black. No, actually, I'm going to do with the two inch. A little bit of green, a little bit of black. There. There we go. Just want to have it out there. Okay. Now, let's go ahead. Let me sort of wipe off my brush. A little bit of white, a little bit of that brown color mixed on my fan brush. Let's come up here. And you can just tap it down. There. Can tap down a little highlight. Okay. Now let's come up here. Cadmium yellow. Maybe a little bit of sap green. Let's highlight those leafy trees. Think of each leaf that's on that branch. Don't just highlight at random. There. Okay. And maybe maybe last thing last ever maybe for today till next week a little bit of black a little bit of brown mix it up cut it all it's that nice dark brown color ooh there we go just Maybe, maybe if this one grew up and actually took its vitamins, maybe it could have been a mountain. Not really, but it's good to, to uh, come up with those stories. A little bit of highlight color. Ooh, that's beautiful. There. Okay. Let's mix up a shadow color. Mostly black. A little bit of brown. Cut it off. It's just. Almost black. There. Ever so lightly, and a few little water lines. Let me add a little bit of liquid white to that. Just a little bit of liquid white, titanium white. And add in a few little water lines. Right here, a few little ripples. And, geez, um, let's go ahead. I just want to blend out a little bit that water line. Very lightly.
maybe a little bit more scrubbing. There. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed making it for you. I wish you the best of luck on this painting, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care, my friend. Goodbye.